All right, guys, this is Flint's ball. Look what I've got. I've got me a package from a guy up in Missouri. I'm so excited. I'm about like Quincy Point Hunter. I, I hadn't waited two or three days about making this video, but maybe I should have, I, honestly. Uh -uh. And I hadn't even opened it all up yet. I, I was wanting to save a few pieces just for the video. Uh, fellow I asked him about whether or not he'd have, have me do a, a video or not and he said he didn't mind uh, his username he goes by the name Kenny Hooten uh, and he lives in Missouri of course and he contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in some Missouri artifacts and of course I'm always interested in artifacts and uh, so I consented to giving him my address and finally got the package and here's what he says greetings from Missouri hope you enjoy these artifacts I chose they all have been found about two miles from where I live on the edge of the prairie ground. Everything else east is river bottoms and hills. I won't read every bit of it in detail, but he goes on to say that he finds uh, several late paleo and early archaic artifacts from a certain area. And uh, I'll just go ahead and show you a few of these pieces. He goes on and notes a few of the things that I can... Uh, I can remember as we go, but I wanted to start by showing you uh, this bison tooth that he sent. I've never found anything like that. I never find bone at all. That was a unique item to get. Anything that I don't find is, is, is awesome to have. And he's got several things in here. In fact, just about everything he sent, I, I don't own and I don't find. That's a that's a huge tooth. Uh, says it's a bison, giant bison tooth. I don't, you know, I don't doubt that at all. There's no reason to. I would chewed a lot of cud in it today, and I appreciate it. I mean, all these things that you sent, Kenny. I mean, honestly, I don't know you from Adam, and you know that I don't. And for you to send such things, man, uh, it speaks highly of you. I'm, and I'm sincere when I say that. He's, he sent a few pieces of, of just heat treated material. It's just beautiful stuff. As you can see, a couple of pieces here. It's just right creamy looking pink. Swirls in it. It's just gorgeous stuff. I appreciate it. He, uh, I love the stuff that y'all find in Missouri. I've never been there. Uh, well, I've never artifact hunted there. I've been through St. Louis. In fact, I've stayed overnight in St. Louis and I've been on up uh, through St. Louis and on up through Missouri out to Mount Pleasant, Iowa and uh, where uh, Matt and them have their show. But I've never actually artifact hunted. This right here is an awesome tool and he said it, it's got some pretty colors in it anyway. He said it gets better when it's wet, so we're going to take his word for it. And I don't doubt it at all colors just pop whenever something's wet like that but I've seen I've seen some of these colors and stuff you know I'm up your way just on YouTube but I've never actually handled any of them and these right here are just just something else here's a piece and I doubt I doubt I don't doubt it what it uh, probably wasn't found in a creek or something it looks creek stained from what I've watched y'all guys on YouTube find but it's just it's just an awesome piece and I don't, I don't know any of the point types much up your way, but I sure am glad to get some of them. And I, I want to thank you. I mean, sincerely, you didn't have to do it. You don't know me, uh, but I'm, I certainly am glad that you put together this package for me. This right here, I'm sure, is hematite, uh, just like, just like iron, so heavy. And it's red and polished and. I don't find that either. I mean, it's just a unique piece, you know. I'll just go ahead and tell you, I had a guy offer me some hematite uh, back around Labor Day, and I hope you're watching. Uh, it's the last time I heard of him was on Labor Day. He offered me some hematite artifacts, knowing I didn't find any. Of course, I gave him my address and said, sure, I'll take some. End of story. No more comments. No kiss my hind end, see you later or nothing. And uh, 
So for that reason, this 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 fella here knows how I feel about giving out my personal information uh, because uh, it's not cool, you know, when you renege on, on somebody. And uh, I think all the YouTubers ought to know about it. I ought to call you by name, but I'm doing this video and thanks for this fella here that followed through. Uh, and he's awesome. Uh, that, you know, this right here is ground, and I'm assuming this this is a hemp hill. And uh, from what I've seen, you know, you guys find, and I may be wrong, Hickory, the Hickory Ridge, you know, up your way favors this too, but, you know, I don't remember hearing y'all say much about it being ground. So I wonder if that's not a hemp hill. I've got to carry on because I've got some stuff, you know, I've got to show. This here, he mentioned in his in his note that this right here don't be alarmed because the tip was already gone. But would you look at that? Little three notch Cahokia point. I mean, I mean, I I, I seen Brooks's video on, and he, he he talked about how you know you up there you find points that long, and then you find these e little bitty bird points. Well, you know, it never dawned on me, and he even showed on his finger the size of it. But still, to have one in your hands, and and this one is small. But check this thing out. I want you to look at this thing. When I opened that, I, I thought, surely to goodness, that's not an airhead. But look at it. I mean, it's got everything flaking across both faces. Notches. Bifurcated base. And a tip. And the thing ain't... It's not three quarters of an inch long and a quarter inch wide. And it's so thin, it don't have but one side. That's just amazing, amazing stuff. I wish I could spend a lot more time on, on these artifacts, but I've got two that I hadn't unwrapped yet and I'm anxious to see what they are. But these are just, I mean, they're just spectacular in my book. I don't, know, I don't really know what this is, don't know what to call it. You guys from up Missouri, you'll know right off the hip, but I just simply don't know, but it is so, so pretty. And look at that. Boy, that's amazing. Check this out. You go from the teeny weenies to the, what's that? Four inches, nearly. I, you know, I, I, I really don't know whether that's a sedalia, whether it's, a, you know, a wadlow, I, I don't know. Y'all guys can mention to me. It wasn't included in the note exactly what these were, the point types, and that you know that's neither here nor there. Uh, cause the, but they are awesome. I mean, I think I know what one particular point type is going to be, and uh, I'm anxious to open it. That's super, super piece. Still got the dirt on them. When you really fix me up, Kenny, and I, I certainly appreciate it, and uh, being good, doing business with you. I'm going to send you a package and, you know, honestly, you know, I, you know, you're, uh, if, if this is what you consider, you know, your second best or even your third best, you know, I don't know that I can match, you know, what you sent me, honestly. I, I'm thinking maybe this is a, a Afton. Check that out. Just as sharp as it was, no doubt, the day it was manufactured. It, you know, it, does ha Afton's have the dovetail looking base? You know, I don't know. Man, is that a sweeter. All right. This one right here, you know, I felt the shape of it. But I haven't opened it yet. But I've got... 
pretty good idea of what it what it is because it was the very thing that he contacted me in reference to and asked me if I'd be interested in it or in one because I don't find them and he believed that I needed one in my collection and that I would make it a good home my goodness Check that thing out, man. Look at the bevel on that. That is just amazing. If you'd have only sent this, buddy, that would have been sufficient. I love, I absolutely love the style of the Daltons. And people find them all around me. But I've never found one. And, and these that are what you might consider somewhat sharpened down, they're the most attractive to me that there are. I love that point right there. I don't know the material type. It's a pinkish brown color, but certainly is amazing. We're just grinding everywhere. Kenny, I, I, sir, but I don't know what to say. I honestly don't. You told me, you know, uh, you didn't skimp, and I certainly agree with you. You didn't skimp, and I just hope that, you know, I can fix you up with some things without, you know, without ridding me of my, you know, my collection, because, I mean, you know, how can I match anything like that? You know, it's... But guys, I don't know uh, if you've checked him out on YouTube. He's got a channel. Named, his name's Kenny Hooten. Not got many videos, but I encourage him to make some if it's where he can at all. And I welcome him to the group. And he would be a, a, good, a good one to have around. Awful generous of you, Kenny. And I appreciate it very much. Guys, I'm going to get on off of here, but I want you to look what a package. I don't receive packages too much. Just simply because I don't like giving out my personal information. But if people will continue to be, you know, trustworthy, it'll make the whole YouTube community something that's fitting to be on. Uh, and I've had a guy even offer me a capina just this past week, and I, I was... Uh, I declined it because I've been done dirty, but enough of these right here, and, and uh, you know, I can't take a thing in the world away from this guy right here. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching.